Welcome into the 5 4 and Fishman YouTube channel, everybody. So, a while ago, I put out a video on how to make store bought eggs better, and I promised you guys that within one month of posting that video, I was gonna do a how to cure like raw salmon eggs video. Yesterday, Ada and I went out and we got some eggs. Uh, I caught a really nice 21 pound hen, so we're gonna be curing those up in this episode for you guys. We're gonna go over like the things that you're gonna need, what kind of cures I like to use, and obviously, like how to cure these up. Now there's plenty of different ways. This is just gonna be the way that I personally do it. So if you guys watch my videos and you guys wanna go out and try to you know catch some fish yourself and you wanna do it the way that I do it, then you can. First thing that I guess, uh, let's just go ahead and talk about what we're gonna need today. So you're gonna need some paper towels, gallon bags, egg cure. Now this is Bomac Pro Glow. Now there's lots of different kinds that you can use. This is just personally, my go-to. I don't really like Potski because I personally believe that Potski is based out of like Michigan, you know, like Great Lakes fisheries. So I think your cure base is different. Now maybe that's just not true, but I don't use it. Um, anything Procure is pretty good. They have like the Fuse, Red Hot, Double Stuff. Uh, the Last Supper, I believe is a Procure. Those are all good go-tos. There's the you know, Zilla Bait. Let me think, what else is there? There's a lot, there's all kinds of different cures. Uh, I personally like to use a lot of TNT products. So just kind of whatever you want to use. You're going to need a knife so you can butterfly the eggs and I'll show you guys how to do Ozark that. Trail. <laughs> yeah, do Ozark Trail. Honestly, this is a really good filet knife for like- It 20. is, I cut salmon yesterday. It's it like 14 nice. bucks, yeah. And then we have eggs. So the purpose of wrapping these eggs in the paper towel is if you're going to leave them overnight, you don't want to just put them in a gallon bag. So what happens is the eggs are just going to so, like slowly secrete stuff and if you look at these paper towels they're completely wet and almost orange now that's because all those eggs like secreted that liquid all night into these paper towels so once we take them out they're going to be perfectly ready to go i already bled these eggs out last night you don't want to store them with yeah, blood maybe we'll do in a them. video of how to bleed eggs too. yeah next time i get get a fish uh I'll insert like just a little clip of it of how i do it it's super simple it's kind of self-explanatory you just run like a spoon, the edge of a spoon or a butter knife, um, nothing with a sharp point along the vein and push the blood out of the vein. It's pretty easy to do, but I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, maybe we'll do like a how to properly bleed a fish and how to bleed the eggs video. So that might be something for you guys to see, but let's go ahead and get started on this. First thing you're gonna do is just go ahead and use, it, it kind of, use. you're gonna have to use a lot to be honest with you guys. Just go ahead, peel all these out. Just lay them down, make a nice good layer. You don't want your stuff to leak through onto the table. Now, I'm not really worried because this table is like plastic on top. So if something goes on it, I'm not really worried about it. You're gonna wanna just freaking cover this bad boy up. Oh my up. gosh. Oh, you wanna do a lot, honestly. You can't- There goes all the trees. No. <laughs> and then you just go ahead and rip all these up. Honestly, that's probably about good. Now, something that we're gonna talk about before we take these eggs out of here is People are always like, man, you need to use gloves. Well, personally for fall Chinook, I don't use gloves. I don't think they're that picky like everyone says they are. I mean, I catch plenty of fish and I never use gloves. So I don't really think it's that big of a deal. But let's go ahead and rip into this bag here. And let's go ahead and take our eggs out. I just have a garbage can right next to me. Um, that way I can just throw stuff away. Unfold these bad boys like a taco. And these are huge. I mean, this fish had a lot of eggs in it. like. That is a big freaking behemoth thing of eggs right there. And personally, I didn't do a great job getting all the blood out of these, but you know what? I wasn't really that concerned about it because I'm gonna be fishing with these here in the next like couple days. Uh, first thing that we're gonna do is before, we're gonna go ahead and just do these one at a time. So before I take that thing of eggs out, we're gonna butterfly them. So butterflying, if you know what butterflying is, it's where you're gonna cut this, so just let me say something. This right here is called the sky and the skein, however you want to pronounce it. I, I hear people pronounce it in lots of different ways. It's the flat, you can see that's the flat membrane. So camera pick it up. Okay, so you guys are able to see that. That's the skein, and then this is like the egg, and you can see there's no membrane on there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife, and you're just, you can go through either side, it doesn't matter, but you wanna put the skein down to the paper towel, put your knife, and just kind of butterfly those up. Just cut through the membrane there. And you can do it either way. You can just do it like this. Just be careful. Just don't, you don't want to cut that skein 
but you're just cutting right down the middle and you can see I'm pushing with my fingers and I'm cutting those open and you can see it's actually opening those eggs up. And I'm just being really careful not to go super close to that skein on the back of the egg. And I'm just gonna butterfly these open, just nice and gentle. Just This is a sharp knife, so I'm just running it right down them. And it's just filleting those open. And now you can see that whole membrane is now, it's nice and spread out and flat. So what I like to do is, because I just, I ended up popping quite a few eggs, which that's gonna happen. You're gonna pop eggs, take a piece of paper towel, just get a little bit of that extra egg juice out. Just go ahead and dab that up. I like to dry them just a little bit because like you can even see, it's almost bloody. Um, and maybe, I, maybe that's just the color of the egg, but we're gonna just dry them out just a bit. Just get some of that egg juice out. I mean, look how much we just dabbed out. That's quite a bit. Take that, throw it away. Pretty much now, you're ready to go ahead and throw some cure on now that you have them nice and butterflied open. So you're gonna go ahead, lay that. You wanna lay it egg side down. And you can see I have that skein up. Now you're gonna go ahead and take your cure. I literally just bought this, so. Oh my God, bro. There's probably a thing inside of it. You won't it. be asking him to open your pickle jars. Dude. That was hard to open. Yeah, so we're gonna take this bad boy off here really quick. Um, I bought this bottle of Cure at Dan's Outdoors in Springfield. Um, I, I'll leave a link down below if you're like located in the Eugene Springfield area. Definitely go check it out. This bottle was $13.50. Um, you don't need a lot of it. A lot goes a long ways. So what you're gonna do is it has a nice little shaker option. It also has a bulk option so if you want to mix cures sometimes i mix cures but for this purpose i'm not i'm just going to show you guys how to do it with just one cure you're going to take your shaker and you're just going to lightly sprinkle onto the skein of those eggs and try you know you don't have to be like perfect with it um but just sprinkle it like that on there what you're now going to do is be i would recommend rip some paper towels off before you start touching this because your hands are going to become purple um, now, also, that's the thing about gloves, you won't stain your hands, but I really don't care. So, you're just going to take this and just kind of rub it onto the back of the skein like this. Now, I think the purpose of this is, in my opinion, it actually toughens it up a little bit. So, you end up getting like a lot better egg out of it this way. Pop that jar open. I want to get it nice and you want to try to cover the whole thing as much as you can you want to get every little spot of it um something you guys can do is where these eggs actually stick out past just cover the back side of them a little bit and now if you guys can pick that up on the camera there it actually is like a different color now and you can already see that cure is actually starting to break down and almost like melt across that skein now what you're gonna do is just go ahead and take this, grab it, and just flip it back over, back down so the egg side is up. Now for this, you're just gonna go ahead and take your jar and just do a coating across it. And I'm gonna have to do this a couple times because this is a lot of eggs. Like this jar is made to do like, I think it's 24 pounds of eggs is what it said. So let me just check this really quick. Yeah, it says that this jar does 24 pounds of eggs. Now, I probably have roughly two pounds of eggs here. So, you know, do the math. Um, also, just for something really quick, it gives you instructions on here, but I personally like to do it my own way. I just, it's just what I do. Um, now, if you can see, so kind of zoom in on this really quick. So you see how inside the egg there, it's still orange, but then on top, it's like purple. So what you wanna do is you wanna try to cover every like little bit of egg with cure. Like even if you just have to put it on top, really cake that stuff and just work it in. Cause you want every egg to get cured. And you'll honestly, you'll start to see these things start to juice. Cause what they're gonna do is they're gonna push the juices out, absorb the juices back in, push them out, absorb them back in. And you know, there's a lot of cure on here and the cure almost becomes like a liquid here in a little bit. And so, you know, 
Yeah, I can totally see the color changing in them. Of the eggs? Yeah. Yeah. Because think about it, they were like bright orange. Yeah, and so if you guys can, it's hard, like, it's it's really hard because you feel like you're using a lot of this when you're doing it, but you're actually not. Um, you know, and you just want to make sure that you cover as much as you can. And the purpose, if this is more of, use more if you want to get more longevity out of them. That's just my opinion. Because what will end up happening is these eggs will end up, uh, they'll end up spoiling because there's some that didn't get all the way cured. And I mean, like, I'm, you can see, if you can pick that up, you see how liquidy it's getting in there. That's because they're already starting to juice. So you kind of just want to like massage it in? Yep, you just massage it with your fingers, fold them, and you can see like there's like layers in there. Like there's, it's almost like a, oh, I touched the camera. It's almost like it, it like folds open because they're all connected. It's like, a, what do you call it? Like a filing cabinet almost. So you just want to spread it apart and work, make sure you work all that. Cabinet? Yeah, you know, like if you, you like. You could have said so many different things. But it's, it's kind of like a filing cabinet though. Am I wrong? Mm, yes. Well, anyways. So that's just kind of how it's you do like it. like a burrito. I guess. Or a sandwich with layers. A filing cabinet? Well, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, think about it, guys. If you're, like, having to sort through a file and, like, grab something in between each document, that's kind of the same thing. You want to pull it back, like, put it, put cure back in there and then okay. close it back up. It's, like, the same thing. Okay. So, for the purpose of today's video, we're just going to cure one skein of these because I'm actually going to use um, the other skein that I have and actually do another cure. But it's a secret cure that you can never know about. Yeah, it's just my own cure that I make. Um, so we're only going to do one of these. You guys, I, it's it's going to be the exact same thing for this one, for the next one. So you don't need to see that. And then after you get this all worked in, uh, you might have to help me <laughs> open the bag. I would always open a bag up before you put these in there. So we're going to go ahead and actually lay this down on its face really quick because I want to put some more on this on the back of it. Get that nice and worked in there. Cover the backs of these eggs a bit. And this stuff apparently like glows underwater. It gives like a, almost like a UV type thing. So it got the bag nice and opened up for me. <laughs> I tried. And then these eggs are ready to go in the bag now. So um, there's lots of ways you can do it. Um, Okay. I like to kind of lay them down and fold them just a little bit and go ahead and I'll take the bag. I got it. Open the bag up and just set them in there. Ugh. Okay. Now I'm going to go and wipe my hands off just a little bit. This is why you set paper towel out before. Yeah, look, and I bet the table's fine underneath it. Oh yeah. Yep. There's it's so close though. So good thing you put all 10 trees down. Yeah, so what you're gonna do now is go ahead, close this bag up, um, leave air in it. That's something important is you wanna leave that air in there and you'll see why you wanna leave the air in there. So this skein is done. Um, we're gonna go ahead and you wanna use your fridge, throw this in the fridge, let it, like if you guys look at the bottom there, it's already got juice coming out of it. Like you can see there's like a thing of liquid kind of pulling up right there. So you're gonna let that sit in your fridge for about 15 minutes, go into your fridge, grab the bag and shake it up. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna, I'm gonna go rinse my hands off really quick, put this in the fridge for you guys and it will see you guys back in like 15 minutes. We'll shake it up and then I'm gonna keep showing you guys the process of it. Okay guys, so I just cured these up. They look pretty much identical to the other ones. Those are mine I just did, but we're gonna, it's been 15 minutes. So we're gonna take these out of the fridge these are the ones we did you can look look how much juice those things have already juiced out look at that so here's gonna take them literally just shake them get them nice and mixed Do around the shake, in there shake, shake, shake. yeah <laughs> so, insert the 15 minutes later maybe anyway so we're gonna let these guys juice out and you want to do this every 15 minutes for two hours so i'm gonna do this every 15 minutes for two hours and then i'll catch you guys not necessarily two hours, but I like to do it for two hours. You could do it for probably like an hour and a half or whatever, but you have, you honestly really have to watch them. If you don't, you're going to ruin them. So we're going to go ahead and come back to these guys in just a few minutes 
and shake them up again. And then you want to do that and then let them sit for like three hours for 24 hours. So I'm going to go over that with you guys. So it'll just be small clips for whatever, but I'm going to do this every 15 minutes. So we see you guys back in two hours. Okay, everybody. So it's currently been uh, like right around 24 hours since I've last seen you guys. It's been a little bit more because it's actually like fucking seven in the morning right now. Eight and I are getting ready to go fishing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these eggs that we've been curing up for you guys. And pretty much like kind of what I said is you want to do it every 15 minutes, you know, for a couple hours and then every, you know, just go ahead and shake them for like every couple hours, like every two hours, go ahead and grab them and give them a rotate. That's what I did with these, but I want to fish a wetter egg. So all I'm going to do with these is just take them out of the bag, set them onto the paper towel, dry them off just a little bit and then go ahead and throw them back in a new bag. Um, if you're gonna want these eggs, you know, to be, I guess, a firmer egg, what you would do is after you take these out of the bag, um, hold on just one second, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and you can see they're super wet. I mean, look how much juice was in there. That's just gonna get thrown away. Now, I've personally done this before and I know quite a few people that have done it where they take the juice and they put it in like little bottles um, and they use it as like scent additive to re-pour onto the egg, like after they've already fished it. And I guess that works. I've caught fish that way, but I don't know. I just throw it away. I feel like it's a lot of work to do that. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just going to take these, dab them off here. I mean, look, they are pretty wet. So that's what I actually want for this egg. These eggs actually turned out beautifully. I mean, look at that. You guys probably can't really see because it's kind of dark, but those are some per pretty much perfect eggs. Like in my opinion, they have that nice dark chili cherry color. Um, now I've seen a lot of people fish with all different kinds of eggs. I personally like darker eggs. I have always done significantly better fishing darker eggs. That's just my opinion. Um, these eggs are nice and firm still, so they're not gonna fall off every cast. I'm gonna get lots of use out of them. I'm probably gonna end up running through this whole skein today. Uh, Aiden and I are getting ready to go do a little bit of salmon fishing. So if this helped you guys at all, let me know. Um, if you have any comments, go ahead and just drop them down below. I'm always, you know, I'm pretty active on it and I try to help you guys as much as I can. So that is gonna do it. Thank you everybody for the support and uh, stay fishy. Good luck fishing if you get some eggs like I do and you're gonna go use them and I'll see your guys' faces whenever I see you. Peace out everybody.